English in Action was founded in 1994. Our mission is to help adults learn English and bring people together across cultural divides. We moved here in 2005 to Al Jabal. At that time, we served around 100 people annually. Uh, and we currently serve up to 400 adult learners annually. Big, medium. English in Action is a vibrant center for learning. On any given day, we have individual tutoring pairs meeting here. We have staff working with students and tutors. We have our small groups happening. We have digital literacy. Our programs essentially compete for the same space. We're doing amazing work here, but we are absolutely bursting at the seams. This building itself is deteriorating. It's in the final stages of its life, and so we absolutely need a new space. We envision a new building for our immigrant community that welcomes and honors and recognizes the commitments that our students make to our larger community and also that our students and tutors make to one another. Through working with our staff and our students and tutors and board members, we've seen that we need about three times the space that we currently have. This location is really ideal for us. People can walk here and it's an easy location to get to through a variety of means of transportation. The owner of the land, Crawford Properties, has generously donated a 50-year lease to make this possible for us. The CEO of Crawford Properties is Robert Hubble. He is one of our board members. He's also one of our volunteer tutors. And this lease means that for every dollar we raise, we'll be able to focus those funds on the building itself. We have one-on-one -on -one classrooms where a student and tutor could meet we also have several small group tutoring rooms where you could have one tutor with several students and then larger spaces where people can do trainings or come and learn more about English in Action. One of our long-term students, Maria Zelaya, has been very interested in when English in Action is going to get a new building. Maria came to us one, one day and asked whether it might be possible for her to pray in the building. What she was praying for was a new building for English in Action. Maria was one of the first donors to English in Action. She said, I've been saving up. She brought in a crisp $100 bill. Um, and she has now come back three times with donations for this project. I am grateful no? for English in Action. Y quiero ver a todos los docentes que ya no estén en un espacio reducido, sino que en un espacio grande que se sientan muy, very happy, happy. <laughs> Gracias. Thank you. Thank you very much for your help. You know, for me, English in Action is my second home. The new building represents the place that we can meet and learn and grow and flourish in the effort of the community to think that we are humans, that we, that we need to have a place to say hello, welcome to our home. And this is the, the place, the new building. This new building will be the first of its kind in our valley and possibly in our region that celebrates our immigrant community members. And we invite you to join us in becoming even an even better organization, English in Action. This is our vision for the future. It's so exciting and we really invite our community to join us.